So even in the areas that don't see the ice, power outages will be possible just because of how heavy the snow is on the trees. Engineer 775, here on a snowy day, we're expecting power outages and uh, to get ahead of things. I've got several things running right now, but I wanted to share with you, uh, and you've seen some of these, but uh, the latest day addition is one of the EcoFan thermoelectric uh, generator fans. And uh, the video probably will mess with the, the speed and the timing of that. Um, these are great devices, especially if it's cold and you're running your wood stove for a long time. Some of you run your wood stoves for more than half a year. And uh, these thermoelectric um, battery chargers can be really helpful. Obviously the fan is good for just moving some of this heat that stays around the top of the stove. Um, right now the top of the stove is right around 500 degrees, 510. You can see that there, and so that makes that little fan crank away. And then I'm also using this uh, 30 watt stovetop thermoelectric generator. And what I'm doing is charging, just charging a battery, and um, using a 12 volt setup here. I'm just testing the voltage out on this battery, and I've got it. We started off at 12.5. Two, and it is at 12.62 volts right now so I know that I'm charging uh, the battery. One way I can prove that to you I got another outlet right here. Okay I'm going to measure this uh, the voltage that's coming out of this thermoelectric generator hard for me to, to show you here but but there what do we have for voltage we have 13.93 volts so that you know that it is charging the battery Okay, when I plug it into the battery, I'm going to not get quite that high a voltage because it's actually charging the battery. So I got, yeah, 12.62. The battery started at 12.5. So I just wanted to show you that the voltage was high enough, yeah, more than high enough to, um, to charge the battery. So we are charging this battery. Again, on a 12 volt battery, what's full? 12.8 uh, volts is a full uh, 12 volt battery. Okay, but we're putting 13.9, 14 volts in there. So it's a 30 watt generator. Uh, so 14, 30 divided by 14, you're going to get about 2.2, uh, um, yeah, roughly 2.2 amps out of the stovetop generator. This thing has a USB port as well, so you can actually charge your cell phone and uh, so you can charge a battery too. So. I just like to have all the batteries charged up, topped off, and I'm doing it for free off of the heat from the wood cook stove and uh, just been blowing some hot air around the house. So thermoelectric generators, check them out, real handy, and the colder it is the better they work. The differential in temperature um, is, is what produces the power. And uh, I got a, a link in the description if you are interested in one of these stovetop generators. Uh, we have uh, 15 watt, 30 watt, 40 watt camp stove versions, stove top versions, and uh, eco fans have been out forever. You can get those uh, in many places. Okay, there'll be some links in the description. Obviously, if you want to charge cell phones, you can do that too. I've got a car adapter here. I'm just going to plug it in. All right, plug that in. You see the red light come on. Phone just came on. It's charging. All right, so charging a charging 12 volt battery, USB devices, charging cell phones, and doing it all off of a little bit of heat. We got a nice little fire going in the wood cook stove, blowing that hot air around and charging batteries. So not a lot of power, but it's a very useful. Thing. You're, it's, it's a slow and steady all day long all night long charging batteries so it can be um, something if you have a stove that has a built-in fan that you can charge the battery and then in, put an inverter on there to run the fan so that is a that's a possibility for those of you that have inserts and other um, types of stoves that require fan best type of stove to have is one that doesn't require any fans but but that is not always the case so many people have different types of stoves so anyway that's that's pretty much it from uh, thermoelectric land here today it's on a cold day we still have power but in case we don't we have 
other ways of making power. Engineer 775 signing off.